An Add to Playlist button is included at the top right corner of almost every application menu. Clicking on this button will display a small dialog box that asks for the item title, which can be changed later on, as it will appear within the playlist. The playlist itself can be opened by clicking on the Playlist tab within the main Rockworks menu. This playlist is used to sequentially process all the items that have been added without any user interaction. Individual items within the playlist may be adjusted by double-clicking on the item title. Special playlist-only items may be added by clicking on the Add button located at the top of the playlist dialog box. These items include tools for adding comments, loading, creating, and saving data sheets, changing the project dimensions to process subsites, creating a backup copy of the database, and adding SQL statements to manipulate the database before processing the remaining items. The playlist provides an audit trail to serve as a record of what was done and all of the associated menu settings. Automation of data processing in which new data is being introduced on an ongoing basis such as resampling and monitoring. A memory aid for projects that are infrequently revisited. A template for processing different data sets or sites using a streamlined workflow. And turnkey tools for colleagues or clients who need to use Rockworks capabilities without learning the details of how to use it. A sample dataset titled TCE Site is included with Rockworks to serve as a tutorial and demonstration of the playlist capabilities. The TCE Site project folder also includes a PDF document that provides a detailed explanation of how the playlist was used to model and visualize a migrating contaminant plume. In the TCE case study, a lithology model is created this lithology model is then converted to a Boolean hydraulic conductivity model based on known K factors for the lithologies. TCE models are then interpolated on a quarterly basis as constrained by the Boolean hydraulic conductivity model. These models are then morphed into a 3D isoshell animation. Next, the TCE solid models are converted to grid models based on the highest TCE values and morphed into a 2D contour animation. Finally, a volumetric report is created in which the changes in the plume volume over time are exported to an Excel spreadsheet. In the event that new data becomes available, it's simply a matter of adding the data to the database and reprocessing the playlist. Note the checkboxes adjacent to each playlist item. These checkboxes provide a means to execute selected portions of a playlist. This capability can be especially useful when developing large playlists in which some of the tasks require a long time for processing. Specifically, adding and testing a new item may not require that all of the preceding tasks be reprocessed.